Welcome, Virgos. It's the first half of December. Singles read, meet your soulmate, I call it, or I simply describe the one that's right for you. That's all we're asking, Spirit, is help me describe the one that's right for you. So it should be a triggery reading uh, for anyone, or a negative reading in any way, because of the question we're asking. We did pre-shuffle here, guys. We're ready. This is an eight-card read. And we're going to start with the King of Pentacles. This is in the emotional position. I'll show these as we go along. This is the Clint Dart deck, erotic art deck. So, with the Four of Swords, it's not that naughty. <clears throat> then we're also going to pull two cards from the intellectual position, Nine of Swords. Four of Swords, Nine of Swords. Tower card. This is in the intellectual position. Above, I do kind of tend to look at conscious. Below, I see unconscious. I'm going to stop there for a minute. I'm also going to look at the sexual and love nature and the core values of lifestyle here in two cards each. But here I see the unconscious, the childhood, the moon energy. Here, I like to see the sun energy, the conscious self, Uranus, uh, swords. This is an Aquarius sun comes to mind here. And there's some stuff going on. Um, your person will tell you a story. They had their parent uh, in childhood. Probably the father was probably around a lot. And they didn't... Um, for, they probably were sick, I think, is with this King of Pentacles uh, in over top the Four of Wands. Or maybe it was just like a period of time. Maybe they had a heart attack. Um, I know, you know, I don't like see them dying, but I think this was very difficult with the nine of wands in the tower next to this in an intellectual position um, to them. So, um, you know, when something like this happens, it's a hardship not only obviously on the father, but on the mother too, who maybe was the primary emotional support for your person. Again, this is your person. Doesn't mean they're perfect. Unfortunately, doesn't mean they had a perfect childhood. I'm trying to get a beat on what's going on. Um, very few times do we actually see kind of the idyllic perfect childhood. Um, I, I mean, I don't see like it was terrible here. I think they're, um, even the father, was a provider maybe even while ill somehow i don't know if through insurance or something um you know i don't see abuse here but i see there was a period after which uh there had to be some healing and probably it hit them right at adolescence possibly right the age of reason kind of think seven to fourteen seven age of reason fourteen adolescence yeah but Saturn covers maturation, and it should speak to that to the minute. I'd love to see a study. There's got to be one. We're testing kids, God help us, for their, you know, hormonal levels now around puberty to try to nail it. So they've got to have that data just correlated for me. <laughs> yeah, um, to their sun and astrology signs. Um, but, um, so we're going to hit them with a lot of impact here. And I'm trying to think of their moon. It does seem like a Capricorn moon. This King of Pentacles here. So it's like they're normally very solid. And I think like their parent was very solid too. I think their parent was stoic. That's what it is. Stoic. And your person here. Virgo's... Um, they may be picking up this Aquarius person with a can with a Capricorn moon, so they're emotionally very strong, uh, navally, you know, inherently. Um, they had to go through some period of healing. This is a story they'll tell you. I'm not sure what that would involve. You know, they may tell you a story where they had to be in car uh, they had to seek treatment uh, for mental health issues. Um, for a period of time after probably this event and this is the tower things outside of the control 
God of dealing, be health in financial in nature. This kind of story. I know it's not pleasant to try and get a bead, but this somehow created their character too. Um, they're going to have a, a way about them that's kind of stoic. Um, and I think as you meet them, you'll see someone that's uh, engaging and kind of very open minded and strong really um kind of free i would think uh free like they your person is very free to express them. they don't ever uh second guess themselves or try to tone it down it's not in their vocabulary they're just going to be themselves and i don't think they're going to be particularly wild or anything i think there's just going to be about them a certain like freedom um, that they express uh you'll get from them. So like some kind of just, just strong uh, Aquarius energy coming in. Now let's look at the sexual uh, with the Queen of uh, Cups here. I've got to be a Pisces Venus, I'm telling you. Um, and the Five of Wands. Mars. I don't think they could have a Leo Mars. It could be an Aquarius with a Leo Mars. It could be an Aries with a, uh, yeah. That could pack a wallop. So this very strong earth moon and fixed uh, air for their sun, how they want to be. You know, I think you could say that this whole story uh, sort of tells their story. Um, this parent, they may have stayed around this parent and I think it's their father uh, and the father may have had some kind of influence on them. Um, it wouldn't have been easy, but I think like if they, if you would have pushed them to look back on things, I'm trying to think of the name of this book that really comes to mind as a novel that was so good. It's the last novel I read, it's been a while. Um, but even though it was difficult, um, they would say like, I'm grateful for it. It really made me the man I am today. It made me the woman I am today. Um. And then with the Pisces Venus, where Venus is exalted, um, the Queen of Chalices here, and a Leo Mars. That's quite a difference here. Mutable uh, Earth is in the way they love, and their energy around sexuality is a Leo Fire. Um, this is the kind of person that it's not to be. They're just going to be more sexual. You won't know that until you get there. Then they appear. Um, I think they're going to really surprise you by kind of the passion that, that they're going to bring to the sexual uh, act when you get to that, guys. Um, because I think like from their demeanor and everything, it's like you sort of wouldn't see that coming. I don't really see them even talking so much uh, naughty and everything. Um, and um, they may have gone through a process too of sort of uh, um, integrating this energy in their own lives, you know. Um, uh, because as an empath, each sexual experience, they're going to take it very strongly. They're going to absorb very strongly. Um, so I really don't see someone who has been uh, promiscuous or had a lot of partners, if that counts or anything. So they're not going to tell you those stories, and typically then, they're not going to tell you the stories of all the mayhem caused from that. Five of Pentacles, this is their core values and lifestyle. Interesting. And the world, wow. Okay, when I saw, I was kind of like, five, five, five. And as soon as I saw the world, self-made man, self-made woman. Self-made man, self-made woman. They're gonna, they are. That's this is your reading. <laughs> it's got to be Virgo. Uh, self-made man, self-made woman. That's who you're dealing with here. And they come from this lack mentality. They would be the first person to went to college. Boom, from their family, right? They would be the first person to kind of have. Well, I don't want to. Yeah, they probably are doing all right. Okay, I don't know if they're rich or wealthy. But this is someone that doesn't, uh, at this point in their life, usually don't get this with these readings. It could be someone a little bit older, substantial, 
definitely past first Saturn return because they've had some time to move through life and for their energy to flow and work. Um, so, and the way they're going to love you is going to be very tender and open um, with their love, with their heart. Uh, remember, I've had, you know, I'm uh, Sag, but I got Venus in Scorpio, but I was in love with a Venus in Pisces. And the one thing you got to remember about them, they love everybody. They'll love you. I mean, they'll love you maybe more than you, better than you've been loved in your life. It's exalted there for a reason, but um, they're going to love everybody too. So, um, but when it comes to the bedroom, I will look for them to even take, uh, even a man or woman doesn't matter, they're going to want to take control there. And they're this self-made man, self-made woman. They've gone through quite a process here. There might have been therapy too involved in their lives. There's nine of swords in uh, the um, tower here. So they might tell you a story too about how they've gone to therapy, help them integrate these different things that's going on for them. Um, but you end up with this kind of amazing person, I think here, I hope you've said enough to, this is a predictive read, so this someone's probably not in your life already. But for the first half of, September, of uh, December, and right now is December 1st going out. So anytime, guys, anytime, let me know. Give me like, thumbs up, share, tell a friend, tell a friend. And uh, do subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you, guys.